Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to have a colored translucent status bar. In the previous video, I did show you a translucent status bar, but I told you that it could not be colored because I was using the second method, which basically involved using window translucent status. But two of our subscribers, Anna Berkovich and Well All, personally emailed me and told me a fix they have found. It's more like a hack, and hence I'd like to talk about it thanks to them in this video. So if you haven't seen the last video, please take a look at that because everything I discuss here is based on that. So the first thing that we, I have to show you is the three screens here, the free lollipop, the Kit Kat, and the lollipop device that you have. In the last video, I used the Android Fit System Windows equals to true to apply extra padding. And in this video, we don't need to do that anymore. Let me show you what the hack basically does. Let the toolbar have the same height everywhere. Now the status bar height is 24 dp which is specified on your material design documentation and is applicable to both KitKat and Lollipop. Now whether it's 24 dp on a tablet as well is something which I'm not particularly sure of at this moment at the time of making this video. But if you guys think you know an answer for that be sure to let me know in the comments below. So there are three types of status bars that we're having. There's a no translucent status bar in the pre Lollipop one. The KitKat has kind of a translucent status bar, but it doesn't really look that good for me because it's kind of applying a gradient. And then there's a translucent status bar which you have in your lollipop. Now notice the toolbar, right? It's the same everywhere. But in the KitKat and the lollipop version, I'm going to add extra padding at the top of the toolbar. So in other words, I plan to make a diamonds.xml file separately for KitKat and lollipop and add some spacing on that and make that same spacing as 0 dp here on pre lollipop devices. Now this is one of the things that we need to do for the toolbar. Now the second fix is about the navigation drawer itself. Again it's pretty much the same thing as you can see the drawer here. This is basically our image view and there's of course a linear layout with an orange color on top inside which the image view is placed. We are going to add no space here. We are going to add some amount of space which is this red colored stretch area you can see in addition to the space that is already added here, for example, here if the image view is situated at 24 dp from this top here, it's going to be 24 plus 24, 48 over here and 48 over here considering the 24 dp of status bar plus the 24 dp of margin or padding or whatever that you want to consider. So it's the same hack and we are going to do this in this video. So let's take a look at how we can do it in Android Studio. So here in Android Studio, I have three emulators running. The left one is the oldest one, which is Pre Lollipop. The middle one is KitKat. And on the right side, I have the newest one, which is basically Lollipop. Now, if you open the drawer on each of them, you will notice that the image view gets stuck up in different places. First of all, even on a normal device, the image view is stuck right to the top of the screen. I don't want that. What I want to do is add some padding or margin to it and make sure that it stays separated from the status bar here. And whatever I add, I have to add another 24 dp for this, that is KitKat, and for this, as you can see here, this is going right under the status bar on Lollipop. So let, first, let's fix the outside toolbar that we have here. In KitKat, we want to make sure that the status bar is translucent, because right now it is not. So let's go down here and make our file, which is styles.xml for our KitKat over here. So I'm going to just right click new values resource file call it styles.xml now you can go down here select the version that you want pick the version just hit this button here and then it's going to ask you the number we want kitkat which is basically 19 here so just make it values dash v19 click ok and then it says do you want it added to git since i have this project uploaded on git for your reference i'm not going to add this file right now i will commit it later just click no here and inside this what we want to do is make our style. Now, if you guys remember, all our style is basically inside styles.xml file here, where there's app theme.base that has the parent theme.appcompat.no action bar. And then there's my custom toolbar theme, which is basically extending the theme overlay app compat light, and then there's my attributes defined here. If you take a look at the lollipop style here, you go here and you will find out that the parent is app theme.base. In other words, it's extending the style. From here so I'm gonna do the same thing inside my KitKat as well I'm gonna extend the style from app theme dot base so I can go here to styles and I can say simply style name is app theme 
the parent is app theme dot base here. So once I do that, I can directly specify an item for window translucent status, and I can make that true here. So that takes care of making our status bar translucent. Let us see the effect of this now. As you can see now, now our status bar has become translucent even on KitKat, and the toolbar has been pushed up. What we want to do is push down the toolbar by say 24 dp, which is exactly the status bar size as for the material design documentation out there. And we want to do that on both of them, that is v19 and v21. The way we do that is to have a zero dp of top padding for our toolbar here in v normal, which is pre lollipop, and have a 24 dp top padding on both of these. Let's go into that. So here inside my app bar dot XML, as you can see, there's nothing but the toolbar here. I'm going to add a padding top here, and I'm going to simply call it app bar top padding here. Now I have to create this attribute in all the versions. So right now we have our diamonds dot XML. This is our normal diamonds dot XML where I'm going to create it just by hitting Alt Enter over here, and it's going to say create diamond value app bar top padding. Yes, do that. Give it the value of zero dp. On your normal devices which are before lollipop or KitKat click OK here and if you go here to diamonds.xml you will notice that it has a 0 DP now let's copy this value and modify it for both lollipop and KitKat in lollipop we want to give this a value of 24 DP matching the status bar height and we need to create one more for KitKat we can just go here new values resource file we can call it diamonds.xml and of course we need to select the version which is right at the bottom here Make sure that it is 19 for KitKat. Click OK, and it says add to Git. No. Inside that, simply go and add our diamonds and make it 24 dp again. So at this point, let's take a look at the effect in action. As you can see, it's a nice hack, but it's not good because this colored status bar is not exactly color 700, which your material design documentation specifies for coloring the status bar. If you really want to achieve the primary color 700 here. Then you'll have to use the scrim inserts frame layout, which I'll be jumping into at the end of the series mostly, and also based on your demand. So here, if I open the drawer right now, take a look at what happens. That image view is fine somewhat inside your normal device, but on KitKat and your lollipop, it is being pushed up. So we gotta add a 24 dp of top margin to the image view on normal devices and 48 48 dp of the top margin on both KitKat and Lollipop. So let me go ahead and do that as well. So briefly, I want to take a second to explain what is there inside activity underscore main.xml. If you remember the previous video, I had used the fit system windows attribute somewhere over here, I believe. But I have removed it completely in this video because we don't need it anymore. All we gotta do is go inside the fragments layout file, which is fragment navigation drawer here. So let's go there, fragment navigation drawer. And here is my image view. If you take a look at the design tab, this is my image view, which is inside a linear layout basically because I want to achieve a particular look on the navigation drawer. So there's the linear layout, which is a background color, and then there's the image view inside it. What I want to do now is to add a margin top for the image view. For example, I can go here and let me just take a look at what happens. I say margin top here, and that's going to be 24 dp for now. Let's just put some value and take a look at the design here. As you can see, the image has been pulled down because of the linear layout, the image, and there's the 24 dp at the top, which is being applied currently. And the margin bottom is 16 dp by default, which was already set here. Now, this value, 24 dp, is for a normal device. On KitKat and Lollipop, we will also have to add the status bar height over here so that there's space for the status bar plus this 24 dp making it a total 48 dp in our case so let's do that here i'm going to call this variable as something else instead of saying 24 dp i'm going to make it at demon over here and i will call it drawer margin top in this case of course this value doesn't exist just alt enter create the resource and you've got to give it a value of say 24 dp in this place click ok and inside your diamonds.xml there's your drawer margin underscore top of 24 dp. Now we want to take the same file for your v19 diamonds or xml, which is KitKat here. Here we want to add the other 24 dp of the status bar height, making this a total of 48 dp in both the places over here as well as in a lollipop over here. 
So at this point, all our emulators are running. Left, the oldest. Right, the newest. And KitKat in between. If you take a look at the drawer now, take a look at all the drawers. They look perfectly in sync. I have made three emulators for three devices with the same density. And just to test and make sure that the UI looks the same across all of them. So KitKat has this 48 dp on the top. And also Lollipop is having 48 dp on the top. But your normal one has 24 dps margin here between the image view and this point over here where the orange color ends. So this is basically a nice hack which was suggested by those two subscribers whose names I mentioned earlier. And if you think this is a good one, do let me know in the comments below. In the next video, it's time to dive into more complex things. I'm going to show you how to put a recycler view inside our navigation drawer. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Noon, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice